Let's see this question. Well, given this equation, a quadratic equation, x squared minus 17x plus 65 equals to zero. Uh, we are asked to find x minus six squared plus one over x minus six squared. Mm. Okay, so we're going to construct x minus six. Let's see from the equation. If we want to do x minus six, then 65, let's think about 66 minus one. Then six plus 11, that's 17, okay. So we can do this, x minus six, x minus 11. Then minus one equals zero, or well, this is equals to one. Right, because this one gives us x squared minus 17x plus 66. So basically we add up one on both sides. Why this is good? Because we have a constructed x minus six. Then we can rewrite this one. So what is one over x minus six? One over x minus six, that just equals the x minus 11. All right, so we want to use this relation. Now come here, we have x minus six squared plus one over x minus six squared. We can think x minus six as just as one term. Right? Then minus one over x minus six squared. Well, what's the square of this? Square of this would be x minus six squared minus two minus two times x minus six times one over x minus six, that's just minus two. Then plus one over x minus six squared. So, right, so that you could, so if we rewrite this, just plus two on both sides, so that equals to this, because of this expression plus two. But what is this expression? That's x minus six. One over x minus six can be written as x minus 11. So that's minus x minus 11. Then that's this square plus two. X minus x becomes zero. So I have negative six minus minus 11 become plus 11 squared plus two. So minus six plus 11, that's five. Five squared plus two. Well, five squared is 25. 25 plus two, 27. So that's, this equals to 27. All right. So how did we approach this question? Basically, we see we need to construct from the given equation somehow to construct x minus six or one over x minus six term. Okay.